Hi, Dan from Virtual Administrator here. We're going to take a minute in this video today and actually take a look at one of Kaseya's lesser known features, and that is the Kaseya API. We're going to be taking a look at how you can get the API enabled for your account if you're a Virtual Administrator partner, and then also a little bit about how you can get started with the API. Probably won't be going into too much detail, but it is a very powerful feature if you're using it in conjunction with other automated softwares that you would like to either get information from Kaseya or have Kaseya react to other things such as automated um, updates or system processes that you're using outside of the Kaseya software. So why don't we take a minute and dive in and I'll show you just what you need to do. Getting the Kaseya API enabled is really quite simple. All you need to do is send an email to help at virtualadministrator.com then fill in uh, this quick subject line and then basically just enter a quick message and what that'll do is prompt our help desk department to enable the Kaseya API in your account. This is something that's available to all IT Center and IT Essentials partners and so that's basically it. Um, after that all you gotta do is just pull up the documentation which we'll go over in just a second. Getting started with Kaseya's API is easy. All you have to do once you're logged in is go to the Kaseya portal then click on the Kaseya Knowledge Base Center and then once that loads, you'll find the Kaseya API documentation right on that page. Now, on that page is a quick introduction to the API, and then there's also um, the API actual documentation, as well as uh, API Tech Jams, which are great webinars. And then if we click into the help documentation, um, there's actually a software program which we will be um, trying to upload along with this post, or shortly thereafter that will show you um, some basic sample stuff to help you get started with working with Kaseya's uh, API. The API is SOAP, so um, that is something that you would have to be familiar with in order to work with it. So that's the Kaseya API. Pretty cool, huh? I think that there's just so many different things that we can do with this API, and it's really important to take time and really dive in there, especially if you're trying to you know, take your automation to the next level. Now, you can get a lot of this stuff done with scripts and also with the new um, policy management module. You can kind of have Kaseya react on its own or predict situations that are going to rise up and be able to you know, have Kaseya kind of work on its own. It's not a way to integrate it with other software, but it is a way to take your automation to the next level. So. If you want Kaseya to be integrated, then the API is the way to go. If you're just trying to get Kaseya to react to certain situations, there may be better ways to get this stuff done. So anyway, once again, this is Dan with Virtual Administrator. I'm glad that you took some time to watch this video. And I will see you in the next... Whenever I see you. <laughs>